Also, where do they get this, like, propaganda? You know, when you get Biden in presidency and you listen to people like AOC, you're gonna have to eat cats and you're gonna have to shit in a ceramic bowl that you're gonna have to clean out. <laughs> Hey cuties and welcome back to my channel for another video. If you want to join the cuties fam, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the little bell icon to get notified when I make new videos. All my socials are linked down below, including my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Cameo, Patreon, and my podcast. That'll all be linked down below if you want to support me in any way that you can. Wow. Okay, I haven't said all of that in a while, so I was like trying to remember, what do I usually say in my videos? Addressing the elephant in the room, I have not been here in a while. I have not made a video in like a month and a half maybe. I think this is like the biggest break I've ever taken from YouTube since my channel kind of took off. So big apologies for that, but if you guys want to know where I was, I basically was just like dealing with a really bad depressive episode. And on top of that, I got really sick. It wasn't COVID. I had like an infection, so I had to go on antibiotics. And I was just like, ugh, it was just like a bad time and I was not in the mood to be making videos. Yeah, so thank you guys for sticking around and I got a bunch of sweet messages being like, bestie, we miss you. And I was like, I miss you guys more. And I was thinking like, what video do I wanna come back on? And originally over this month, I've been working on a video cause I kinda wanna start doing video essay type videos and stuff. And I have a, a few videos that I was like planning and working on, but they were more like serious topics. And I was like, do I really wanna like come out the gate with like a really serious topic or do we want to just like come out light, fun, getting back in the groove of things, have like a fun topic. And also since I've been away for a while, this video is probably going to get suppressed because the algorithm loves when you post consistently and I have not been posting consistently. So if you guys really are feeling spicy today uh, and you wanted to like share the video and like it and comment and like do all like the interactions and stuff that'll help boost the video and the algorithm because I know it's probably gonna get like hella suppressed. That would be really great. And before we jump into this video, I want to thank today's sponsor. Yes, Surfshark VPN. So if you use the internet, you need a VPN. So if you've been sitting there contemplating, should I get a VPN, should I get a VPN? Now you can get a VPN and also support me. So. Who wouldn't want to do that? If you go to surfshark.deals slash Christina Mayoni, you can get 83% off a two-year plan and three extra months free. This would make your subscription only $2.21 a month. Basically, the best thing about a VPN service is that it encrypts your IP address so that when you're browsing on the internet, you are secure, you're safe, and people can't get a hold of your private information, your passwords, and the stuff you look at online. You don't want your internet service provider seeing all the funky stuff you go searching. <laughs> But personally, my favorite feature of the VPN surface is that I get to go on American Netflix. So I watch The Vampire Diaries because everyone tells me I look like Nina Dobrev and I need to support my doppelganger. <laughs> Canadian Netflix does not have The Vampire Diaries. So all I have to do is go to my VPN, switch my location to the United States, and I can watch The Vampire Diaries. Simple, easy as that. So if you guys want to claim this amazing deal, all you got to do is go to surfshark.deals slash Christina Mayoni. I swear to God, best decision you'll ever make. Anyways, let's get into the video. So if you guys have been a fan of this channel for quite some time, or you're a new fan and you just decided to binge all my old videos, you'll probably remember the deplorable choir. You know, real women vote for Trump. <laughs> We don't need no liberal chumps, we have real women. Oh, please don't copyright me for that. But yes, the deplorable choir is basically three women who, I'm like, are you self-aware that you guys suck because deplorable, deplorable, um, but they basically made songs about being Republicans and about hating liberals and about being big Trump supporters. And I found out recently that they have a TikTok or at least like the main girl has a TikTok um, and I thought it would be really fun to like go through it and just some of the videos are so funny But yeah, if you haven't gone and watched my first video on the deplorable choir I do recommend going and watching it. Here's her TikTok So I can't play any of the videos that like have her songs in them just because I'll get copyright claimed apparently so um, We're gonna try to avoid those but I remember someone being like I think her and the brunette girl are lesbians and I'm like sitting here like no, there's like no way because I don't know. I feel like it's very rare for like a hardcore Trump supporting Republican to be gay just because, you know, 
everything about that screams being anti-gay but uh someone said they were gay and honestly i could see it or they're just like really close friends i don't know if people actually were just like spreading rumors and stuff or if this was like a true thing but so you remember how there was originally three girls apparently the blonde with the short hair um she's not in the group anymore so it's just the two of them oh my god this is just like such a weird obsession anyways we'll start from the beginning okay so this is them on valentine's day and they're wearing you know pink i love donald trump hats again very weird weird territory and the caption says happy valentine's day donald we are creeps we know and they're just you know caressing and feeling up a cardboard cutout of Donald Trump. Oh my God, and the comments are fucking killing me. So the song that's playing in the background is Dolly Parton and they're like, Dolly Parton voted for Biden. And then sisters by chance, lovers by choice. See, this makes me think that like, maybe they are not actually a couple and that people are just making that a rumor because of course Republicans don't really like gay people. So this video, like I can't play the song either because it's her song, but hey, American idiots, we're gonna whip your ass. And the song is basically saying, we're gonna whip your ass or whatever. And it's like, imagine having a house, like imagine walking into your house and there's just like a cardboard cut out of Donald Trump. Like, would that not freak you out? Like you're going to, you're going to get a glass of water in the middle of the night and you're like, oh, fuck. oh sorry, Donnie. Like, <laughs> like, would that not freak you out every single night? I don't I don't know, man. If I walked into a house and there was a cardboard cutout of Donald Trump and it didn't have like X's on the eyes or like food thrown at it, I would run out of that house immediately. Okay, so this video came out like around the time when their like real women vote for Trump song was like going viral on TikTok. Like it got kind of popular because people were like using it as a meme, but I totally understand. After I made that video, I went to Florida and all I could like was stuck in my head was all of their songs. I was like, real women, we don't need no liberal champion. <laughs> like it was just stuck in my head constantly. Uh, it, I have to say they do make really catchy songs, but the subject matter, sucks so this is a really funny video i thought yo i keep getting all these messages from these sweet liberals who love my song real women vote for trump they say even though they hate trump they love my song and i just want to tell them it's like makes my heart feel so good like she seems like kind of like a sweet woman but just very not all there in the brain you know like she's just missing a few screws somewhere in there the screws that were like oh yeah trump hasn't actually not done great things for your country yeah as someone commented girl you'd be so powerful if you didn't support him i love it but i hate it at the same time like literally her, their songs were so catchy like real women vote for trump <laughs> see so this video this girl is saying apparently two of the women in the video are dating and her reply wasn't to say like no we're not so like I'm maybe they are or they I don't know. But anyways, um, she says Trump was the first presidential candidate to support gay marriage. Obama, Hillary, and Biden were against it until recently. No, <laughs> no, it's just like simply not true. <laughs> it's just like like saying things like this is just like simply not true. First of all, Trump hates gay people um, and has opposed gay marriage for decades. Do you support? Uh gay gay people's right to get married for no uh, i don't support gay marriage and the rest of it i'd rather not talk about secondly obama and biden who were who the ones who made gay marriage legal so that's like a really big thing for gay people so i just i i don't know how you're like um trump is the only president who has ever come to our supporting other like no he wasn't like that's just literally like false not true it has never been true uh, so I think that's like so funny and like even if he did like come into office like really like support gay rights like love gay people go gay marriage gay marriage was already legal so I mean that didn't really matter unless he was looking to you know make it illegal and in his presidency he showed through the policies legislations and bills he tried to pass that he did not care about gay people or their rights like taking away you know, medical rights from trans and, and gay people and people in the LGBTQ community and like protection rights against trans and LGBTQ people. Like where was the supporting of the gay people in these situations, right? Like you can scream at the top of your lungs that you support gay people, but at the end of the day, actions speak louder than words. And if your actions did not follow 
that, which they did not while he was in office. Nothing he did really was for gay people. He took trans people out of the army, you know, like there was just so many things he did while in presidency that like screamed, I hate gay people. So it's like him saying, remember when he said in the debate, he was like, I'm the least racist person that has ever existed. I'm the least racist president. And everyone's sitting there like, um, no. Remember that time you got fined? for violating the Fair Housing Act because you refused to house black tenants in your buildings. Oh yeah, but you're the least racist person that has ever existed, right? For, sorry, I forgot. He said it, so therefore it's true. No, no, no. actions speak louder than words. Uh, Trump's a fucking racist. Always has been, always will be. So the funniest thing, so she's here singing with her big Make America, like how much money do you think this woman has spent on Make America Great Again and Donald Trump paraphernalia? How much money do you think? Let's, I want you to take a guess down below. Take a guess in the comments down below. How much money do you think this woman has spent? Because this is just wild. And so basically she's saying he's still your president, but this was posted in 2020, but it was November 13th. So this, I think the election was at the very beginning of November, right? Like November 3rd or something. He, she's still saying like, he's still your president. <laughs> like, Dear Lord. And then someone commented, this video isn't going to age well. <laughs> Do you remember when the like million MAGA march or whatever happened uh, on the 14th? So her, like the deplorable choir sang at that. So like she had a performance for, I wonder if she sang for real women, vote for Trump. Uh, and then a million Trump supporters showed up. This is after two hours. Also, I'm like 100% sure that there was not a million people there. Do you know how many people are a million people? A million Trump supporters showed up. Honey, like there would not be enough room for a million people in that small little area, but, and it says, Patriots are done with commie cheaters. important for you to understand when I'm going to show you this this has been going on for two hours yeah that's a million people they're still marching there is over a million people here there's a whole bunch of pissed off patriots because Biden and the communists Wonderful. stole our votes and we ain't down with that is she five years old did she really just at me also the communist cheaters define communism D please Define communism for me. Because, like, they just label anything they don't like communist. Oh, these communist cheaters. Where? Who? Who? Can you name me who the communists are? Because no one here wants communism. <laughs> I mean, some of us do. But, like, the majority of, like, the liberals they hate aren't commies or socialists. They literally just want fucking, like, human rights and healthcare. <laughs> oh, it's so crazy. Oh, and now she, this is her singing at the the Million MAGA march. They really, like, these people are really, really freaking bad at math. Because if they really thought that was a million people, they were like, one, two, three, four, five, six, a million. Definitely a million. I was like, maybe, there was maybe like 10,000 tops. Like, possibly, I don't even know. I don't even think that would be 20,000. Do you know how many people that is? Like, come on now. And then, highlight of my patriotic life, God bless Trump and God bless America. Jeez Louise. Yeah, the comments are, imagine supporting a person that is supported by the Proud Boys. Hi little liberals, when you're forced to eat your cat, remember, it's because you voted for the candidate with the nicer tweets. <laughs> When you settle for Joe, this is what you get. Hashtag settle for Biden, hashtag Trump 2020. Like you understand that the way Donald Trump handled the pandemic was so bad that people were broke and like starving and like fighting over toilet paper. And yet you're like, mm, under Biden, we're gonna have to eat cats. I don't understand that like obsession that like people have. They're like, when you live in a communist country, like we're heading down the road too, which we're 100% not anywhere in North America. Like we're so capitalist, it's like not even funny. Like even Canada is so capitalist just because we have like free healthcare. 
doesn't mean we're anywhere close to being communist. Why do you think we're gonna be eating cats? I mean, like the joke I made in fucking my first deplorable choir video. This, this bitch likes a good cat, but I realized after reading all the comments that, cause I was like, what did they mean by that? But I realized now that it's probably like a xenophobic comment about like Asian people because there's always that like trope about like Asian people who are like, I guess even in like communist China, which is by the way, not communist. <laughs> um, it's a state capitalist country. But anyways, I don't know how to have that argument that like people in like communist China have to like, like eat cats because they don't have anything else. And they're so like poor and like whatever. And the funny thing is like Biden isn't even like that much better than Trump. I mean, definitely a lot better in like certain aspects, but he's still like an old white man who's upholding like a capitalist society, right? So at the end of the day, like things aren't going to be like suddenly a communist utopia under Biden, you know what I mean? Like he's still kind of represents a lot of the things like we are so against as like leftists. And so it's like under Biden, they think it's gonna be this crazy change of like, oh my God, suddenly we're all gonna be eating cats and we're gonna be drinking toilet water. That's so funny. When you're forced to eat your cat, remember, this is the life you guys chose. You chose this by voting for Biden. You said, I choose eating cats. Just remember that. Y'all, I am reading your comments and I have a very serious question that I want you to answer. If you are against racial inequality, why would you vote for Biden who wrote the 1994 crime bill which devastated the black community by mass incarcerating black men and he said we're gonna lock those sons of bitches up and why would you support his running mate kamala who as a prosecutor as a cop which y'all don't even like locked up over 1500 innocent black men when she had the exonerating evidence that would free them yet she kept them jailed because she wanted cheap labor why would you support them and trump is the one that passed the law that released all of them from prison with his prison reform. I'm just confused. I thought about being sarcastic, but then I thought maybe y'all could explain that to me. So you agree, black lives do matter. Are we, are we in agreement here? So you also agree that systemic racism does exist. Is that what we're saying here? Are we agreeing on something? <laughs> Cause that's what it, this video feels like. But also I could literally sit here and name all of the incredibly disgusting racist things that Donald Trump has done, not only in his life, but even in his presidency. Like, oh my God, calling the like proud boys really great people. There's great people on both sides. Like, no, oh my God, girl, please stop with this. It's like, you're almost at the point they, they always stare the point right at the face and then miss it. Like, I think almost all liberals, leftists agree what Biden did uh, with that bill. Disgusting. Kamala, disgusting. Um, it's like looking at the lesser of two evils. Nobody really wanted Biden in presidency. You know, the choice everyone wanted was Bernie Sound. I mean, not everyone, of course, because then he would have been in presidency. But like, for the majority, people wanted... Bernie Sanders. Why do you think the whole hashtag settle for Biden started? Because it wasn't like, yay, Biden. It was like, okay, we'll settle for Biden over Trump, who literally has incited riots, um, has revved up the engines of white supremacist organizations, dog whistled to the Proud Boys and the KKK. Donald Trump still says like systemic racism doesn't exist. So like having a president who literally just denies this stuff isn't going to help anyone. And also his prison reform did do some good, uh, but it didn't release all the people that Biden, like she's acting like he just undid what Biden did. That's not what happened at all. If he really cared about those prison inmates, if he really cared about the black community, he would have reversed what happened in the 1990s with Biden, but he didn't. He did prison reform, which was a great thing. And Biden has denounced what he did many times in town hall and said, you know, I completely regret uh, that in the 1990s. See, I think the difference is they don't understand that 
Voting for someone does not mean you worship them. It doesn't mean that you agree with everything that they've done or everything they've ever done. Uh, it doesn't mean that you'll defend them to the death and it doesn't mean you even have to like them. It just means that they are a better candidate than the other candidate that was up for grabs. You know what I mean? And it's like, they just think, well, you know, you have to stand by everything that president does and da 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 And it's like, no, like you have to, as a citizen of a country be able to critically analyze and critique people who are in power, especially people who are in power, because those are the people making big decisions and who have so many biases from all of the little chitter chatter in their ears, all of the companies that are paying them and, and funding these things. And it's like, you have to be able to critically analyze these people. They're not looking out for your best interest. If you think political figures are sitting here being like, yes, I'm really looking out for all of your best interests. Like even shit that AOC does pisses me off. Cause I'm like, girl, we can do better than this. Okay, we can do better. You don't have to blindly worship. Did you know that the United States is home to 90% of the world's flushable toilets? That's right. So when you hear AOC say she wants us to operate like a high, functioning society when she implements those socialist policies that you're all cheering on i hope you like the rest of the world that she's referring to gets to experience the joy of cleaning your own poop out of a ceramic pot because these luxuries only happen in capitalist nations oh my jesus my my strap is in the toilet you get the idea though what did I just watch? <laughs> there was just so much that happened in that video. First of all, why does she pronounce society? So society? Um, I know I pronounce things weird because I'm Canadian, but come on now. That was very weird. Also, where do they get this, like, propaganda? You know, when you get Biden in presidency and you listen to people like AOC, you're gonna have to eat cats and you're gonna have to shit in a ceramic bowl that you're gonna have to clean out. <laughs> like, what? Suddenly is like Biden just gonna come into every household and like remove their toilets? Like, I just, what? Like what chapter did I miss in the communist manifesto where they were like, and we're going to have to eat cats and shit in ceramic bowls. I have my communist manifesto and this is the classics of Marxism. Uh, volume one and two and it's just like like where did i miss that part in here oh shit there it is right there right yep mm -hmm. thou shalt eat cats i don't know why i read it like that like it was a bible verse thou shalt eat cats and be divine and shit in ceramic bowls and clean them out yourself because luxuries are for capitalist bootlickers <laughs> No, where in the communist manifesto did it say that you weren't allowed a toilet? It doesn't because it doesn't exist. And also she put her fucking necklace. Yeah, it was her necklace. It was definitely her necklace. She just let in the toilet there. Oh my God, the comments are so funny. It's true, I'm Canadian and we all poop on the floor. <laughs> Ma'am, are you eating cats again? Tell me that you didn't graduate from high school without telling me. Uh, clearly you have never traveled anywhere outside the U.S. Socialism is when no toilet. <laughs> yeah, you realize most people just come here to laugh at you, right? It's true. In Latin America, we don't even have phones. <laughs> I'm writing this mentally. <laughs> I'm like telepathically commenting this. Literally. I really urge these people to travel anywhere. Anywhere that's not America. Because I swear to God, they've never left America before. Like you're not going to be forced to eat cats. You're not gonna have to shit in a bowl. Do you troll on Facebook so long that finally you get to these posts and you believe that they're true? Like I just, it was like a crazy jump. It's like, oh, you elected Biden, no toilets. <laughs> and where do you think only in capitalist societies would you be allowed a toilet? Like toilets were an invention so that we didn't have to clean at bowls. So like why suddenly would we go back to that? Anyways, it makes no sense at all. These people are just wild. Like, I wish they could see how like crazy they sound, but they don't, they, they really are like, you guys are the crazy ones. I hate country music singers who get rich off their conservative fans, but have absolutely zero of the American values they sing about. We're looking at you, Garth Brooks, and nobody gonna buy your music anymore. Bye. I really don't listen to country music. Only if it's like 
at the cottage and it's like a beach day and you put a little bit of a country tune on maybe i'll vibe with it then i really don't like country music other than that um so i don't know who garth brooks is but her caption says garth brooks gets rich off conservatives but is a biden butt kisser if people like his music people like his music uh, i don't think people really care who he voted for but also like you don't have to be a conservative to like make country music just saying like i don't know also don't you guys have like a bunch of country singers who like say the n-word and shit like wasn't there that i forget his name now but wasn't there that country singer who literally like was on tape like calling yeah it was really bad so that's the kind of people you support is that the american values that you support the racism yeah i would rather support garth brooks you know what i'm actually going to go and listen to garth brooks songs now i don't even know who he is but uh i'm gonna I'm show him some support just because you don't like him and it's funny because these people will like boast about oh my god the liberals and their cancel culture they just they won't even support people who like donald trump and they they, they they'll stop being friends with people because of donald trump and yada 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 and yet you're just like oh none of the conservatives are gonna listen to this guy's music because he voted for biden who's the snowflake now who's melting in real time i'm watching a snowflake melt anyways i guess that's all for this video um thank you guys so much for sticking by me all this time while i took some time off stay tuned for more videos coming soon make sure in order to help boost this video that you like comment share subscribe double check that you're subscribed because i know a lot of people are getting randomly unsubscribed for me but anyways that's all for this video thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video peace